The Mavis and Ephraim Hawthorne Golden Cross Foundation's 12th Annual Excellence Awards Gala at the VIP Country Club in New Russia. Diana McCauley speaks in New York about protecting the Jamaican environment at the 13th Annual CIN Lecture Series. Curry shrimp and mango salad with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson and Jamaican singer, producer, musician Freddie McGregor on this week's In the Kitchen. The Rebel Salute media launch was held at the Milk River Restaurant and Lounge in Brooklyn, New York. New York's top 10 countdown and much, much more. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. Welcome, you're watching Come Chat With Me. And we're at the Golden Cross 12th Annual Excellent Awards Gala, yes, at the VIP Country Club. So keep it locked. New Rochelle style was say, come chat with me in our house. Ziggy bless you that. Mavis Ephraim Arthur and Golden Cross Foundation was established in 2005 with the mission to assist with college completion through scholarships, mentorship and internships. The reception and silent auction took place at the VIP Country Club in New Rochelle, New York. Musical selections was provided by the Platinum One Band. The 12th Annual Excellence Awards Gala honored eight esteemed members of the community who have been outstanding in their various areas of influence. These eight individuals were honored for their dedication to service, education, commitment to excellence and outstanding contributions to the community. I am very humbled to be yes. uh, honored tonight because Golden Cross is more than a business to me, they're family, so this yeah. is a big deal for me. I'm glad that you have chosen to spend this evening with us. You being here tells me you have embraced the vision of our foundation, which is to ensure that our youth is not deprived of education. It's unfortunate that every young white student has the privilege of a college education. So many have been held back because of economic hardship. That is the reason why this foundation has vowed to continue to do its part to ensure that more and more brilliant students like Adam Fane get the opportunity they deserve. It was uh, kind of uh, inspiring for me when I applied and I heard back one day during my community hour that I received a Golden Cross scholarship. And I was so excited because I needed in order to pay for financial aid and not only that, books and uh, Metro card. So, I mean, it was a great kind of, yeah. So it's going, sir. Our school and everything is going good? Yeah, I'm doing well. Uh, I'm going to John Jay College. Nice. I'm measuring political science and economics. We had a full house. Yes. Over 300 people turned up and uh, the support has just been tremendous. And I'm so happy that we have been able to provide for these students. You have heard their story and my story is their story. I know I'm so glad I can make a difference. Okay. 12 years. How has the, the journey has been? It has been an amazing journey. But through it all, ups and downs, yes. we just stay fixed on the vision yes. to fulfill the mandate that our parents give us yes. to take the taste of the Caribbean to the world.
Diana McCauley, Jamaican environmental activist and award-winning writer, delivered the 13th annual CIN lecture at the Schoenberg Center for Research in Black Culture. The 13th annual lecture series was held at the Schoenberg Center for Research in Black Culture. Guests were treated to light refreshment provided by Golden Cross Bakery before heading into the auditorium for Dinah's Macaulay presentation, The State of the Rock. The State of the Rock explores the current state of Jamaica's natural environment and climate. Forests, rivers, coral reefs, the main threats to these natural assets. Everyone produces waste. Rich people, poor people, people of every color, sex, age, religious faith, people of all nationalities, wherever they live, whatever their houses look like, whatever their livelihoods. For much of humanity's history, we have sought to remove the responsibility for handling our waste to others. Often folks burdened with labels such as untouchables or at home garbage man, garbage woman. And you cannot legislate people to stop producing waste from their bodies. Not all human waste goes to a sewage plant, of course, but we have understood that we need to do something with our waste to make it benign. We have to figure out what to do with it, or else it will spread around on land and flow into the sea. And however much we might say, we do not care if every fish in the sea dies because of it. The fact is, our own waste on land or in water will make us very sick. Well, it's a toxic country. You had mentioned that climate change is indicating that we will be receiving 40% less water in the coming years. These bauxite companies, they come to Jamaica, they process materials. They use a hell of a lot of uh, water each day in the processes. In fact, millions of gallons of water, and they can find water for these processes. Why is it that the government of Jamaica has now looked at the possibility of sinking wells in the cockpit area where there is some amount of rainfall and honest that water so that we don't have the kind of water lock-offs in the remaining parts of the, 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 the country? Well, of course, that might very well have to be done. Um, and that is one of the reasons why we think mining and quarrying there is a very great threat to those underground water resources. Now you might know Kingston sits over a very large underground, underground water that's been polluted by the soak away pits that most houses in Kingston had before there were sewage treatment plants. So that water is not in fact available to us in Kingston. If we had not polluted the underground water underneath the city of Kingston, we would have many of those wells for use by, for domestic water. So this is exactly the argument that I'm making, that we have these natural resources and we should not mash them up. And copper country is a resource that we may very well have to use. Tonight, really, is a celebration of excellence. And Diana, <laughs> Diana embodies that excellence. I love Jamaica, I was yes. born there, I'm passionate about it, and I think it's a shame the way we are treating our home. Okay. And that is why I've done this work for the last almost 27 years now. Yes. And I want us to stop dotty up Jamaica. Yes. Well, I think what she said is that each of us have a role to play, okay. not just to go to a good lecture, but to add our voice and our energy and our interest in getting the authorities to do what they need to do. And she did say the right thing, Jamaica has a freedom of the press, 24-7 um, talk shows. People need to call in and make their voices heard and support the cause. And I hope that the people who are here who seem to be very energized, they need to step up to the plate and do what they have to do. Yeah man, welcome to another episode of In the Kitchen with <laughs> Chef. Patrick Simpson. What well, one big man? Yo, everything. Yo, everything is turned up, man. We're there in at the kitchen tonight. Yeah. And you know who we'll perform tonight? Freddie McGregor himself, son. That me get to overstand, you know. So oh. you don't know about the big ship in the house? Ah, big man. ship across the ocean. We don't don't know. get it twisted, man. A curry shrimp we're going to eat tonight, you know. And we're serving with some mango salad in at the kitchen. In the kitchen. For the man, I do sound check right now, so I'm gonna do something real simple, real easy. Right now, I have my oil already nice and hot. Vegetable oil, keep it nice and hot. 
And I got some red pepper, got some onion, the red pepper, and my green pepper. You don't know, you don't know what we do already in the kitchen. Alright? And then right after that, I draw some curry powder. Come on and get my nice curry flavor out. Get them nice. Throw some thyme. Put some thyme in. Some fresh thyme. You can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong with your fresh thyme. And you know, inside of the kitchen, one of the things about inside of the kitchen, so we'll show you the real tricks as to what goes on inside the kitchen when you're super busy. We gotta have things set up a little bit different from when you're cooking at home because we're executing food and a fast way of how we do it inside the kitchen. So you know what's for you there? You're the inner the kitchen. I'm gonna just show you what me do inside of my kitchen here at BB Kings when we put stuff together real fast. Because tonight, it's gonna be so busy tonight. We're gonna do the curry shrimp, real easy, real fast. Some more fresh garlic inside, nice. All right, that's what I'm talking about. And then we have a drop from the shrimp now, which we already have the shrimp already. Pre-cooked. We have the shrimp already pre-cooked because inside of the kitchen, one of the big difference with what goes on here and what goes on in a regular kitchen, we have to make things fast and make things easy because we turn out numbers here. We turn out numbers. We do over... 700 covers a night. 700 covers a night, some fresh lemon. That's what I'm talking about. Some nice fresh lemon. That's it. Simple as that. Simple as that. Get me some of my onion flavor. Look at that. This is my caramelized onion right here, sir. And then we we'll turn around and we're going to serve this real simple, real easy. And we're going to serve this with some jasmine rice. And after some jasmine rice, some manga salad. And it's going to look so good. And it tastes so good. And it's simple and fast. I have the pleasure of standing next to Mr. Big Ship. <laughs> yeah, man. Frank, you. yeah, man. I come chat to the man. <laughs> Hello, it is, sir. We're good and I give thanks, man. A true, man. Nice, nice. And I'm happy to be here tonight. Um, what type of vibes tonight do people I expect tonight? Nelson First. Mandela. And Nelson Mandela vibes. Yeah, see, see there? there. Yeah, we'll come that way there. It's just a yeah, positive man. and a niceness. Yeah. Because, you know, my music spans everything from love to culture. Yeah. You know, just make everybody happy. And um, we're happy to be here tonight. It's been a while since we played BB Kings, and um, it's nice that we're here tonight with a full crew, big ship yeah, crew. True. So we get a chance to just work and do some songs that yeah. we probably haven't done in a while too, because we have the time tonight. Uh, yeah, it's not true. one of them shows that we have for really a run off a stage. So yeah. we will be doing a wonderful set tonight, and we're looking forward to it. The band excited, everybody. We're nice. You're here to see Freddie tonight, definitely. Most definitely, you know, keeping the culture alive, as always. So who did you take with you tonight? I took my mom, actually. Happy birthday, mommy. Mommy, happy birthday. What's your mommy name? Jennifer. Mommy Jennifer. Big up yourself, alright and happy birthday. Freddie McGregor, you can't watch it a bit. Huh? Nice and pretty, nice and simple, easy and fast. I'm gonna go right over to my presentation right now. Plate them up real good. So you can see how we do right here. So that's how we do it in the kitchen. So we do it in the kitchen. Mini chicken and waffle, cheese plate. Mini chicken and waffle, cheese plate, appetizer. Listen, so we do it in the kitchen. 
Don't get it, don't, don't get it twisted. It's turn up. Freddie McGregor in the building tonight. BB King in at the kitchen. Keep it locked. With the yeah. shows like this, we like it because it's up close and personal. Yeah. And they get a chance to relate to the people up close. So, but it's yeah. nice when I near our far, same vibe Freddie giving them. Stay true to my roots and let's do what I do best. Oh, man. All of you What the farm I go on, Anting? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, so I tell you something. Um, I was in Florida until the day before yesterday. Yeah. So I went to Jamaica on the first flight yesterday morning. Yeah. And as soon as I got home and left my suitcase at the door. Yeah. Um, headed straight to the right, farm. Right, to the street there. Because, you know, so I'm plan 3,000 route of Sarrel. Yeah. And mm. <laughs> it's a beautiful feel to go back and so I'm going to tell you, yeah, the giant happiness of a feel, yes. And yeah. I plan 3,500 routes of um, papaya. Nice. And those are coming nice. Those are nice about three again. feet right now. Yeah. And um, I have a nice patch of um, scotch bonnet pepper. Yeah. I will plant um, um, tomatoes. I have a whole of melon, pumpkin, Nothing and cantaloupe. Wow. Um, we have a whole pineapple we plant and we have sugar cane and the banana and my beer non-stop and I'll planting. Tell you about it. So yeah. the thing I got nice on the yeah. horses. Yeah. Then I go and find two cars, we breed horses, sure. race them, yeah. sell them, we into yeah. that business All as right. well. <laughs> Yeah man, Rebel Salute 2018, seeing the New York edition. Yeah, you don't know. I'm your old Ziggy Bless, and you're watching Come Chat with me. So keep it locked, milk river the thing there. Rebel Salute 2018, boom blast. Every January, thousands of reggae music lovers make the pilgrimage to Rebel Salute for a world-class event that delivers a spectacular experience of authentic roots reggae, old some culture, and healthy living. The first of three media launches was L at the Milk River restaurant and lounge in Brooklyn, New York. Audience in attendance saw various presentations, complemented by exciting performances by Mystic Mikey, Luton Fire, Rush Shiloh, Queen Africa, and Tony Rebel. You don't know this at the 2nd of November really and it's a Rasta vibe so at the coronation date of his Imperial Majesty I still see the date when his Imperial Majesty was crowned King of Kings conquering the tribe of Judah of Ethiopia alongside his Empress, Empress Rosario Menin so it's a special day and tonight with our brother Show launch, Rebel Salute. So, you know, it's a special and special, so bless it. 25 years. Lovely. Yes. You know what I mean? What's going to be special this year? It's 25. Yeah. That's, 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 that's special in time. itself, yeah. you know? Yeah. And the fact that we can relive all the memories of what this show has been all about to 25 years later, where some of the things that Rebel Salute has not done, such as selling alcohol our meat we are now seeing where things like those have now become epidemic in the world people want a healthier lifestyle so the special things about rebel salute is about learning about you as an individual how to take care of your health whether it is by food whether it is by music whether it is by craft whether it is just by the camaraderie of just in a space of clean music clean energy for two days yeah. i mean i think that's special the journey has been long and hazardous yeah. filled with sorrow and pain 
But like how life is, when joy is asleep, then sorrow is awake and vice versa. Yeah. So night and day. So we work with them both one day at a time. Now we have gone 24 years and looking forward to do the 25th. Yeah. And maybe after that, another 25 yeah. and another 50. You never know. That's the plan. But yeah. we give thanks. It, it has not been easy, but we have survived. And that is important. Sure, man. Don't go away. New York's top 10 countdown is up next. Let's see which artist makes it to the number one spot. And remember, if you make it in New York City, you can make it anywhere in the world. Tell them the strongest so just get the hardest fight. Hardest fight. And on the realest people live the hardest life. Girl I been up in a city, me no know Something where me never see in a no show Pass the video, you can send it up a flow 30 mil a feed a back as they alone Don't mean that The moment you have all been waiting for, come chat with me's number one video in New York City for two consecutive weeks is I Am Styles Music's Mama Africa. Me want to know where you come from If you're single or if you have a husband If a beat or if you miss a gunman That are your real skin tone or your suntan Is that your natural hair or it custom Boy, Me love how your body looks smooth I think I am falling for you And I love how you keep it in shape, baby Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me, New York's number one Caribbean lifestyle magazine. Tune in each and every Sunday right here on CIN. See you next week. It is fitting that my journey started with sewage because human waste is a good metaphor for the overall struggle to protect the land, sea, water and air. We human beings are part of the earth, part of the environment. And like all living creatures, we have our impacts. The question is, how significant are those impacts? Simply Kells.